What makes a player want to make a bold statement like that? The camera what? being in front of him. I was going to say, just... why are you putting your head down? Of all people, Mr. Bart Scott. Yeah, really? But I, did I ever say we were going to be the 85 Bears? Listen, you got to understand. And I think these young guys don't really understand how good and how dominant that Bears defense was. You talk about one, they closed the deal because they won the Super Bowl. Secondly, they are a team that didn't allow a touchdown into the Super Bowl, 10 points in the entire playoffs. You know, I think that's. Well, you don't you like that, that DJ Reed said that? Don't you like that confidence? Listen, it was fine when he said we have the potential to be a, you know, a great defense. He could have said also we, can, we want to be historical and stop there. You don't want to compare yourself to people that have already done it. In this league, you know, you gave him a little bit of bulletin board material, and he's going to have to play at a high level because I guarantee you that, you know, they're going to use those words against you. And you don't care about that, right? But, you know, you're going to see Stephon Diggs go over there, and if he, and if he wins, they're going to hear that the entire time, and it puts undue pressure on the defense. So if they struggle and they're in a shootout, people are going to say, well, the, your defense is – I thought it was historical – it's all about getting the win. And, you know, you're supposed to have high expectations, but sometimes you, you put the camera in front of people. I mean, we've all been around San Antonio Holmes. Like, what did San Antonio say today? Right? It was like, oh, here we go. You know, well, and, Bart and Scott I think, I, said some. Yeah, but I think he stretched it. I think he stretched it just a little bit. Okay. And I think uh, C.J. Mosley did a great job as a leader in saying, hey, you know, you, know, you want to remain humble, right? And understand, like, at least you, after you play one game, you know, I mean, at least play one game. And I think, you know, listen, every, all his teammates backed them up, and I think they can be a historical great defense being if they play complementary football, right? You, you know, we haven't seen this defense who finished fourth play with a lead. We haven't seen them play with a quarterback that's capable of putting up 20, 30 points a game. And if they do that and they play, you know, complementary football, they'll be right there. But, you know, just kind of let that the words, you know, kind of go. Let's, let's, let's get a couple shutouts first.